hey guys welcome to progressive cakes and nourishment in today's video i'll be showing you how i make this beautiful puff puff this party puff puff i got up to 120 pieces from just one kg so stay tuned to the end of this video and watch how i made this pepe party puff puff very very easy if you're new to my channel you're welcome let's dive into the main thing You need your half full cup of sugar. You need your grated onion one and one full tablespoon of nutmeg grated. Two and a half tablespoons of yeast. One kg of flour. Two full tablespoon of fresh pepper. Condensed milk flavor, one tablespoon and lastly your hot water sorry your warm water not hot but warm water so set aside everything and you get a cooler or anything container that has a good cover add in your flour first thing to do is take a little sugar and add into your yeast add in a little warm water Stay together to make sure the yeast is well dissolved and you cover it very well. right inside the flour pour in your sugar pour in the onion and nutmeg mix together very very well and you open up your yeast you can see it's forming up already pour right inside Make sure you wash your hand very well because you're going to mix with your bare hands. So go ahead and be adding the warm water bit by bit as you mix. Little at a time. Add in your flavor. This is one tablespoon of condensed milk flavor. Pour in your fresh pepper and you incorporate very, very well. If you're not good with fresh pepper at this time after missing every other thing you can add in the fresh pepper use a turning stick and mix it right inside before you cover but the fresh pepper is not much so it will not affect your hand so after mixing the butter very very well you can see how thick my butter is looking don't make your us to be too watery because if it's looking too watery it will be sucking vegetable oil and it will be looking so so soft it will not be looking good just take your time to beat your butter very very well and you cover and allow for 45 to 50 minutes before you start frying after 45 to 50 minutes you can see look at that the butter has already risen very well go ahead to start frying everyone has his or her own method of frying puff puff 
this is the way I fry my make sure your oil is hot and your heat is very low so that your puff puff will not just get ready in the body side while the inside is not yet ready when your heat is very low everything will correspond the same time body inside and outside will be ready at the same time but if it's too hot it will just get brown on the body side while the inside is not yet done If you're new to this channel and today is your first time of watching my video, you're welcome to Progressive Cakes and Nourishment. I cook, I bake, I decorate cakes, I do different pastries I know you will love and many other things that will attract your heart. So stay tuned and don't forget to like this video. Please if you have not subscribed to this channel, you are free to join this lovely family. Just by clicking on the subscribe button, click on the notification bell, click on all notifications to be getting alerts of my newest video. If I drop new video, you will get an alert. Subscription is free just for you to be getting alerts of my newest video. To my old subscribers, you are welcome back again. Thank you so much for watching today's video. You can see how beautiful our puff puff is coming out. This is pretty and so yummy inside. So feel free to try out this recipe. And if you have not joined my telegram group, you're free to join. Search for us on telegram progressive cakes and join the family. Share out what you have done join our instagram progressive food and create some memory with us share what you have tried out from this channel and i would love to also chat with you feel free to reach out to us just look at the inside wow looking so beautiful and dry you can see that thanks a million for watching this video to the end just see our puff puff looking so beautiful please don't forget to like this video like the video thanks bye bye